ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव आंसर्ड बिफोर बट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू इन ए बेटर वे सो द क्वेश्चन इज वाई वी गिव इंसुलिन एंड डेक्सट्रोज और डेक्सट्रोज एंड इंसुलिन इन ट्रीटिंग हाइपर सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट फॉर ट्रीटिंग ऑफ द हाइपर कैलिमिया वी यूज थ्री मोडेलिटीज वन इज और थ्री अप्रोचेस वन इज वी स्टेबलाइज द कार्डिक मेम्ब्रेन बिकॉज द अरिदमिया इन एसिस्टल इज द रिस्क तो वी गिव कैल्शियम कोकोनेट दैट्स फॉर मेम्ब्रेन स्टेबलाइजर इफेक्ट सेकेंड इज वी वॉन्ट टू मेक द इंट्रावेस्कुलर कंपार्टमेंट पोटेशियम लेवल लो सो वी इमीजिएटली वॉन्ट दिस पोटेशियम टू गेट शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम इंट्रावेस्कुलर कंपार्टमेंट टू द इंट्रासेलर कंपार्टमेंट एंड द थर्ड मोडेलिटी इज वेर वी वॉन्ट actually potassium to get out of the body by way of stools by way of urine and by way of dialysis so insulin dextrose or dextrose insulin comes helpful in the second uh, approach in which we want the potassium to get shifted into the cell inside the cell so the blood level gets down so how does it help the helping part is done by or this pathway is uh, done by the insulin what happens uh, when we give insulin insulin activates the sodium potassium atps pump uh, intracellularly on the cell uh, on the cell membrane and when this gap pumps get activated what happens it pushes sodium outside the cell and takes potassium inside the cell so once it get activated it takes the potassium from the intravascular compartment to the intracellular compartment as uh, as the gradient develops and so the intravascular potassium levels goes down so in simple terms insulin makes the potassium move from intravascular compartment to the intracellular compartment that's why the actual value of potassium drops transiently temporarily down in the intravascular compartment but if we give insulin like that only what will happen it can cause severe hypoglycemia there is a risk of that that's why we give concentrated dextrose along with it so that insulin acts to uh, move the potassium from intravascular to intracellular compartment and hypoglycemia doesn't develop because there is a uh, glucose in uh, we are also giving and glucose will counter the hypoglycemic effects of the uh, insulin it will not let the patient develop hypoglycemia so this is why we give dextrose insulin together in treatment of the hyperkalemia but this effect is transient the potassium is not getting out of the body it is just getting shifted uh, uh, into the cellular compartment from intravascular compartment so you need to take care of actually lowering down the potassium by diuretics or dialysis or uh, some uh, uh, through the bowel so thank you for asking do read more about it thank you